So this is our CSU East Bay recap. Um, we basically wanted to just go over like our thoughts and ideas of how the tour went and how the experience was in general. We also had a chance to interview some of our other classmates on how they felt about the CSU East Bay experience. Um, I personally had a good time just because of our tour guide and like the places she took us because with all our other college tours I feel like I didn't really get like the dorm experience in comparison to this one where we actually got to see like a simulation of what the dorms would look like um didn't like that it was cash only I did I could however like pay for my stuff it was just really inconvenient for the other people who were on the tour with us okay so on to the um I guess the thoughts of our classmates and like how they felt about the trip uh some of them like the quiet campus whereas other people didn't like the quiet campus so i guess it just depends on like how social you plan to be at college if you plan to just focus like purely on academics i feel like csu east bay would be a good spot because how quiet and um how easy it is to study at csu east bay um a lot of people like the environment i also like i also do like the environment because there's good view there's a good view of like the ocean and like the mountains too the campus is a modern campus it's, it's pretty new and I liked how it was clean and it wasn't dirty like other campuses that we visited. I think people really enjoy the nature because they had really pretty flowers on campus and they had like a lot of trees so it's a very nature campus um but like in regards to like the buildings like Kevin said it's a very modern looking school so it's I don't know it's just it's nice to look at it's just really pretty um something that not only we had a problem with but other students had a problem with was the no cash ca or no cash campus thing that they had going on because a lot of people couldn't pay for food there because we didn't have like a card on us they have good intentions because they're trying to like save the planet with not using paper mm -hmm. but for us as high school students who a lot of us don't have cards yet it was kind of a turn off i guess i feel like it's a pretty well-rounded like school and it was a nice tour to visit Something else though that they told us that like students had a problem with was that if you were to attend there your freshman year dorming, like for on campus living and stuff, you were like literally sharing a room with like seven other people yeah. I think. So um This is not uh something a lot of people would like to have because a lot of people like being enclosed and by themselves but when you're sharing a drone with the seven other people there's going to be too, many, too much stuff going on and you're not going to have alone time so i think a lot of people don't like that to compensate though for the fact that you're sharing a room with seven other people they do have like soundproof booths at their music building that you can rent out and like just sit in there and you don't even have to be a music student to do so you can just rent it out and go there for fun yeah. if you need to have quiet time um just the campus in general is like already pretty quiet so um yeah I, I don't know i think there is some compensation for the fact that you're rooming with other people it just might be um a little uh inconvenient to have a lack of privacy at some times i think that was i think we've about covered it i think that's the only like issues that people have with campus and school other than that i think we could all agree that cfc east bay was a pretty cool school to visit yeah and yeah that's it that's all. Yes, we are! <laughs> oh my no!